What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Miles. Now, I always get this question on Instagram, on Facebook, on the YouTube channel here. Miles, I wanna make it into the UFC. How do I do it? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to give you guys three action steps so you can make it into the UFC or Bellator, which are the two top promotions in the world. I mean, let's face it, who doesn't wanna make it into the NFL of mixed martial arts? I don't know too many fighters that start and just say, hey, I wanna get one fight and that's it. I just wanna be a hometown hero and that's it. No, if you're gonna fight, you wanna make it into the big leagues. You wanna to go to that NFL of mixed martial arts, which is the UFC. That's the main goal. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I've had 14 fights in the UFC. I've had two seasons of the Ultimate Fighter and I've had a bunch of fights now in Bellator. I spent my whole life since I was 16 training and fighting all the way till now. Over 11 plus years of fights, grappling, and all kinds of different combat sports. So I have a good experience with these steps I'm gonna tell you. Heck, if I could rewind and go back in time, this is probably the exact game plan I would actually use to get into the UFC. So if your goal is to make it in mixed martial arts and make it to the biggest organizations, and maybe be the next Israel Adesanya or the next George St. Pierre, if that's your goal, stay tuned. Make sure to drop an elbow on that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button because I'm gonna give you some great steps. So the very first step you need to take is to actually start training. Take six months to two years minimum and start learning all the different combat sports that are associated with being an MMA fighter. I mean, heck, there's a lot of stuff you need to learn. This is like wrestling, striking, which can be boxing, kickboxing. You have grappling like jujitsu, sambo. Man, you might even throw in a little bit of taekwondo, uh, a little capoeira, depending on how creative you wanna get. It's up to you, however your style wants to be. But the main thing is, is you need to take a minimum of six months to two years to build up, get these skills, get the knowledge, get the experience. And while you're at it, while you're training, make sure to go out and do some grappling tournaments. Maybe go do a, a smoker event, which is like some kickboxing or some boxing. So you can get that real life feel of being out there, being in a ring, being in front of people, grappling, having somebody trying to choke you, having somebody trying to punch you. Because when you get to the UFC, it's all in one in one. People are trying to punch you, knock you out. People are trying to choke you, submit you, and you gotta be ready for that. Now I say six months to two years as a minimum requirement because heck, let's face it, everybody's different. If you're a college wrestler and you have a big background in martial arts, it might take you a lot quicker to get into the USC and pick up those skills compared to somebody that's starting with none. A la John Jones, he made his UFC debut when he was only six months into actual MMA training. Now, not everybody can be like this. There's only one John Jones. But if you have a background in any type of martial art or any type of competition like Taekwondo, kickboxing, jujitsu, wrestling, maybe you're an NCAA wrestler, this is definitely going to help you and it might increase the, the time. It might not be as long for you to get those skills up and it'll get you into the, the UFC faster compared to somebody that is just starting out and has to learn wrestling from the ground up, has to learn boxing from the ground up. It might take them a little bit longer. So depending on where you're at in your training and in your life, I would say six months to two years of training minimum before you can actually start getting ready to go head to the UFC or Bellator. If you're just sitting back on the couch eating potato chips, looking like Homer Simpson, it might take you a little bit longer. There's not many couch potatoes that get into the UFC. Heck, there's not any of them. So you have to take into account where you're at in your life and go from there. It took me a while to get into the UFC, right around 10 years total. But that's because I started off when I was younger. I took my time, I wasn't in any rush. I had a long amateur career. I took my time to build the skills necessary to feel like I'm confident enough and I'm good enough to actually be into the UFC and at that level. Maybe it'll take you six months, maybe it'll take you two years, heck, maybe it'll take you five years. But if you want it bad enough, you'll make it happen. Now the second step is you have to win three or four professional fights on smaller regional shows. These are shows like King of the Cage, which is all over the place, anywhere from New Mexico to California. I personally fought a lot in King of the Cage as an amateur and as a professional. I loved it. It was basically the same thing. I would weigh in, I would show up the day of the fight, get wrapped up, go out there in the cage. I could kick, punch, knee, elbow, the same exact rules that are in Bellator and UFC. So to me, these were fights that were just preparing me the process, getting ready for the big show. Now winning three or four fights might seem like a lot, 
But depending on how many times you fight a year, which is anywhere from two to four, it can go by really, really quick. I know a lot of guys that rack up three, four fights, five, even in one year. So depending on how hungry you are, how prepared you are, how motivated you are, you can crack these three or four wins out just like that. Just like you can smash that thumbs up button and that subscribe button. Now, when you fight on King of the Cage or LFA, which is another regional promotion, the biggest and most important thing is just to make sure that whatever organization you're fighting on, it gets recorded your, on your record with Tapology and SureDog. So that way, it's like a resume, right? If you're gonna go apply to a job, when you go to apply to get into the UFC, they're wanna, gonna wanna know, man, who have you fought? How many wins have you had? How have you, you won? Did you knock them out? Did you submit them? And this is all stuff that'll be recorded on SureDog. You can also contact these organizations personally via any telephone numbers you can find on their Instagrams, their Facebooks. Basically get a hold of the promoter or the matchmaker and you can let them know your style, who you are, and that you wanna be on their card. Or you can actually have a manager if you have one of those. And I'll actually do a video on a manager, what, what their job is, if they're worth it or not, how much they pay or charge. Let me know if you guys want that. Drop a comment below and I'll make that video happen. But the main point is, is you can get involved with these smaller regional shows personally or have somebody contact them on your behalf. It's totally up to you. Me personally, I had a manager when I was coming up, started to be a professional, and I had them contact King of the Cage for me and work out all the details for what's my next fight. Now, step number three, you got three or four wins on your professional record. You've been training six months to two years. You're getting so close to getting signed with the UFC, and it's important to keep going with this next step. Now, this third one is to apply for Dana White's Contender Series or to figure out Dana White's looking for a fight, what card and what event that's going to be on, or you can apply for the Ultimate Fighter. These are all great opportunities to get your foot into the door with UFC. Now, once you get an opportunity to get on Dana White's Contender Series, this is all this is is just a opportunity for you to show what you're capable of. It's basically an audition. That's the way I look at it. So when you get on these shows, it's very important to have a huge, huge, impressive performance knockout, a submission, a dogfight, basically just showing the UFC that you're hungry and you want to be with them. They love that. They love young, hungry killers. And that's what Dana and them are always looking for. And that's it. Boom. You have a contract with the UFC from the Ultimate Fighter or the Contender Series or looking for a fight. If you have a great performance on there, chances are Dana White's going to hand you a contract with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And now this means that you have an opportunity to fight with them. Again, this doesn't mean that you made it to the, the top. This doesn't mean that you know your journey's over. It's actually just beginning. Now this is where you actually have to prove yourself, that you belong there. And you have to win fights and win fights consistently and even impressively if you wanna make any money there. Speaking of money, check out some of the videos that I've had on this channel talking about some of the pay that I've had with the UFC and some of the fights that I've had. At this channel, we love finance. We love talking about fighting, money, real estate. All that right here so make sure to look into that so there you have it those are three action steps to get started and make it into the big leagues ufc or bellator all these from the training to taking smaller fights on the regional shows to getting the opportunity to fight maybe on the contender series or the ultimate fighter these all lead you into the ufc or even bellator that's one of the best promotions to be in that's the most important remember when we're fighting we always want to have that goal of making it to the big leagues. If you want to make a career out of this, you want to be the next superstar, the next champion, you want to make enough money to be able to provide for your family, this is how you do it. Steps one, two, and three. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Drop a comment below, and don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody sticking with me throughout this video, and I'll see you guys soon.